29th of March, it's a Saturday. Oh dear. And uh, the sky, you can see, you can't see any fucking blue any fucking where and look at this oh, shit it's been the warmest fucking day Shit. Oh, fuck, look at that shit. God. <laughs> this is a joke, isn't it? Hello, Mother Earth. Need your assistance. There are some real wankers in the world polluting the sky, and people don't know what is going on. Well, that's there to stay, isn't it? That's not dissipating, that's not going anywhere, right? Oh, and that's sort of where it started, behind the tree there. Twenty-fourth of March, twenty fourteen. The sky is full of chemtrails, and there's a plane just putting one out. And I'll show you where it started. Look, it started there. It's gone all the way there. It's meandered there. And it's like that. 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 And there you
My name is Ulrich Lohmann. I'm a professor for atmospheric physics here at the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology, and my special field is clouds. We know that flight traffic is growing by about 5%, and because flight traffic increases, it is also important to perform measurements of aircraft engine exhaust. We know that aircraft engine exhausts contain soot and particulate matter, but we actually wanted to know the chemical composition, and such measurements are very rare. Two years ago, we had the possibility to measure aircraft engine exhaust at Zurich Airport, together with the Federal Office of Civil Aviation. And there, we could basically measure the chemical composition of aircraft engine exhaust from certain turbines. And what we found were mainly soot particulates, pure carbon that is also emitted by cars. But we also found metals. In the aircraft engine exhaust, we detected 16 different metals. Among others, we also found aluminum and barium. And as I said, they come from the kerosene, from engine lubricant oil. And aluminum can also come from the turbines. We made measurements from the jet fuel as well and noticed in the range of parts per millions that the jet fuel contained aluminum and barium. Aluminum and barium in the jet fuel? For over 10 years, this was, according to scientists, entirely impossible and absurd. And now it seems that these toxic substances are really dispersed into the atmosphere without any regulations. With the rise in air traffic, these substances will increasingly affect the environment and our health, unless public authorities will finally act in the public interest to stop this pollution for the benefit of life on planet Earth. It is in any case urgent to regulate aircraft engine exhaust.